Darian Borgeld and I've been a practicing artist for some 31 years on a professional level. I studied in South Australian, at the South Australian School of Art and in New York at the Studio School in New York and uh, I spent eight years living in Paris under a fellowship from the uh, French government. abstract, it's about notions to do with nature in the kind of metaphysical realm of things. It uh, alludes to the notion of time and space which are uh, very interrelated in the realm of physics. Uh, it's often about light and the, the movement of light, how particles uh, interfere with the travel of light uh, and again in physics particles and waves are an interrelated uh, phenomena to do with light movement and the understanding of light. These things are very much the kind of the basis of my work but not in a kind of conscious sense it's just there as a, a something that I think motivates me in a deep kind of philosophical way. I used to work much more directly from nature and observe uh, some of the kind of natural phenomena uh, that is visible within nature, like structures of a nautilus, for example, in, within a shell. Uh, that's one, or, or various structures that are natural structures. But now it's more, much more, I think, uh, complex and philosophical and I'm reading more about uh, quantum physics, more about science in general, the discoveries that are made uh, within the realm of physics that interests me so much, and so does maths. If it's something to do with a more constructed piece of mine, then I can be very influenced by architecture. Architecture is quite a, a dry medium, you know, or dry, quite a dry form of expression. But what inspires me with architecture are how problems are solved, how uh, things like subjects like light is allowed to traverse the the spaces. Uh, so architecture and and certain designers, I am very uh, enamoured of the work of Thomas Heatherwick, and and have watched his work for a long time. He's doing some brilliant things. So there's individuals that inspire me. They're not artists. They're in different, uh, different uh, disciplines. Well, there's different aspects to my work, and different aspects mean that the audience will respond differently. With the cut work, it will play on their interactive sense. So they will interact with it by moving along it and watching it change. So they'll see a sequential change. Every individual reacts in a different way. Um, mostly there's, there's a level of curiosity, like where did this work come from? What motivated this work? And, you know, frequently I'm unable to answer, in fact, because it's, it's sort of from quite a, a source that you don't often understand within yourself. Mm -hmm. 